Hi, it's Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. This is going to be a daily energy update, and then we're going to get into some live questions. We hope everyone is doing really well today. We are um, enjoying the current energy. Um, she said we're just going to shuffle a few times and then we'll get some cards. So, so let's see. Hi, love, Mia. How are you doing today? We have some of Dave's goals playing in the background from his live, from, um, or from his video from a few days ago. So we're sharing that today. I'm um, just in the background because we also apparently have the washer. <laughs> Girls got to do laundry too. So, um, so we are going to start with just a general reading um, for the collective, and then we will get into um, personal questions. So please, on the general. Just take whatever resonates and leave the rest. It could be one line or it could be the whole reading. We just have to, we don't know until it comes out. So we're just going to see what messages want to come out today. We tried to do a video earlier and it just didn't seem to want to work with the sound for me. So we're um, trying again. So the first card that came out is the card of a woman holding a heart, which is, we feel about, and it's a number 44 card. So it's a master number. Um, and we feel, we feel like it's a time of awakening your heart, connecting your heart, your sixth chakra. Are you meditating? Are you getting grounded? Then we get the cards of healer of the ages and we get the fourth chakra, which is Archangel, um, Raphael, which is about healing the heart. And the underlying energy is anxiety. So we are going to get, um, some light seers, um, see what is going on for this reading today we feel like it's definitely about you know sometimes we feel like we have our heart really extended oh I, I wear my heart on my sleeve but you know what sometimes we have a lot of shielding and armor around it that we don't even um really realize that we do she's like oh look I have my I have my bright and shiny heart over here look I have and I'm just waiting but I don't feel like she's of the highest vibration as to saying, you know, that's in the past. Maybe, um, you know, there's a lot of little like chinks in it. So it's like there's definitely like been some hard, um, been a little heartache there and caused you to maybe, I just feel like shielding, like shielding your heart. I feel like, you know, that's in a really nice, you know, box, but it's not really, um, She doesn't truly look happy in the picture. So we feel it's a saying, it's a time about really trying to get your, your heart connected um, through that meditation. And, you know, you're connecting to source when you're doing that meditation, getting into that higher vibration. And as you do that, you open that heart chakra up and that allows the energy from source to come down because the, the upper three are source, the lower three are the physical, and the heart is the bridge between. And you have to you have to do work to open that, even though sometimes we think our hearts really open, it may not be as open as you think it is. So we feel like there is some definite healing going on with the heart. Um, so take a little time. And sometimes, you know, we're like, we're trying to manifest like I didn't see this, like she's trying to manifest love, and the card after that is tied up. Like she's trying to manifest and trying to manifest, and the goddess of the moon is there. You know, I'm trying to do these things to manifest. How come my person isn't coming in? You know, I've done all the steps of manifestation. Why aren't they here? Have you healed your heart? Because that's the first one you got to heal. So he's like, you got to heal that heart. Um, so where is your heart not healed? Where are you holding? Um, where are you holding pain in your heart? And we feel like that's pain you hold towards yourself. Like, and you have to do that forgiveness of yourself. You know, where, where are you, you know, having, I was so dumb when I did that. I can't believe I let that person, you know, stay as long as they did. I can't believe I, you know, fell for whatever it was. So just be aware of how your self-talk is when it comes to relationships and just know everything is a reference point and it was. It meant to give you this wound to have, you know, that heart healing that that's the time is now like 
I know Dave and I have been both doing Dark Night of the Soul because we've both been working on our opening our heart chakras and trying to live a more heart centered life. So, um, I'm gonna get some tarot on that. Um, but she says it's definitely a time of that, you know, be living heart centered, you know. Current energy is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new opportunity in the physical with, with a relationship that's much more balanced. You've done a lot of the work. You've been, you have been putting the steps and you've been meditating. You've been looking like she's seven of wands has got boundaries up all around her heart. Where are your boundaries that you need to pull down? Because this is a new opportunity. You have to vulnerable. So he's like, you got to be vulnerable. Um, because you're trying to bring in this four of wands that is the foundation of what you're trying to manifest. I want to I want to manifest my twin flame. I want to manifest my life partner. I want to manifest love. When you want to manifest that, are you also open to be vulnerable when it comes to that? Um the immediate past is the five of wands, which in this deck, the five of wands, you know, sometimes it is chaos and conflict, but in that they're ultimately all working together to get to their goal. Cause you know, we're all on this path, but you know what? We all have our own path to get there. We all end up in that same place, but we all, we all literally have our own path. And sometimes we forget that everybody has their own path. And, and we feel like this is a message of this path is through the heart. You have to heal the heart. You have to, you know, without great risk, there is no great reward. You have to be open to full love to receive that full love that you're wanting. Are you are you ready? Because transformation is here. We just had the solar eclipse. It's in Libra. Libra is about relationships, you know. Are you ready to find the balance in a relationship? Are you ready for it to be equal give and take? Are you ready to be, you know, the masculine when needed and the feminine energy is needed? Because we both have to have both energies. Um, the current environment is the Eight of Cups, which the Eight of Cups is, you know, really about working the steps of the journey. Are you meditating? Are you, are you know, are you meditating? Are, are you doing the steps you need to do on this journey? You know, I told Dave, you know, I'm going to start doing Reiki on myself again every morning, you know, in the hot tub. You know, we're going to spend a time where we do a little exercise in the hot tub. And I'm like, I'm going to spend a little time every single morning from now on doing doing so doing the healing work are you doing the healing work the and how other people see you is the king of pentacles they think you're doing solid and stable you're you're manifesting look you're manifesting this you're manifesting that you know you're manifesting quite a bit you know in the physical money manifest in love like that i feel like you're trying to manifest love but i've got this money thing down i can manifest it where's the other part how do i get it um and the hopes and fears card is the magician you have all you know you have all of all of the tools you need to manifest love the same way you manifested money and the outcome card is the eight of wands. So we feel like you may be getting multiple suitors in the future or just multiple people reaching out, seeing that, you know, friendships from the past that you want, you know. Um, something that's ended in the past, coming back around in a brand new place in a loving direction. It doesn't even just have to be, you know, about a male female relationship it could be somebody from your family somebody from your you know a friend it can also be the greatest love of your life coming in are you ready are you ready to be vulnerable because if you're not ready to be vulnerable it won't happen you get the four the four of pentacles what are you holding on to that's holding you back what are you not wanting to see what are you not wanting to forgive what are you blaming yourself for you're new on this journey we're all trying to find our balance. So just um, be, be open. Um, it is another card of Libra um, with the justice card. You know, it is about finding that balance, finding that. I said Libra, but I thought I already had a Libra card. So I don't know. Definitely about this time of Libra, about relationships. 
about relationships. Are you ready to manifest your king of wands into the physical? Are you ready to manifest somebody with that fire, that passion, that inspiration, that um, that strength within that could go the distance with you? Um, you're going to get a couple of Celia cards. Okay. The underlying energy is gratitude and appreciation, which is... The highest vibration, make a list and savor your life. You get the cards of boundaries, which we feel like you've already had that boundary. And with your boundaries, we teach people how to treat us. You get the card of abundance, which is look around and you will see the uh, abundance pouring into your life. And we feel like financially the abundance is ready to bust through. Um, you get the cards of do a burn, which is write down what you want to manifest or release and burn it safely. Make sure you have some water. Disclaimer. Um, the star activation is the stars are activating you at this time. Reclaim this fragment of yourself and the sun activation, which we're going to say is that eclipse. It has happened. Um, and the card of be the light, be shine your light and remove the darkness. So um, are you ready to love wholeheartedly? And are you ready to be loved back in that same way? Are you ready to love of the highest vibration? Are you ready to open your heart? Are, are you ready to bring in the relationship that you truly desire, desire something really balanced? Because it's an opportunity now, just like now. So um, 